Yeah, it is different. It is different, which is a great thing for us because it's something that we, we, we need to um, uh, judge ourselves on, don't we? The, the, the style of play that they play because of, of what's down the track. Um, I think they're obviously a world-class side. The, um, they 100% play to the strengths and you know, um, I think that's what rugby's all about, isn't it? Um, finding out what your strength is and applying it and, uh, and they do it better than most. Obviously, the World Cup is a year away, and it happens between now and then. But can you just talk to us a little bit about the psychological boost you would give to this team to beat the World Champions? Yeah, or not? You know, I suppose that the lessons learned are going to be um, are going to be vast for, for for both sides. You know, win or lose, I suppose the team that loses will learn learn a, a little bit more. I would have thought and uh, know which direction that they want to go, not just game plan wise, but personnel wise, etc. So. That's why I think this is priceless for, for, for both teams. It's a, it's a, it's a great matchup, and uh, yeah, it's exciting because of what's doing the track, but for the here and now, well, it's, um, it's pretty good as well. Calculated risk, uh, but a risk. Is it a risk to play Hugo King and James Gibson Park? And can we talk a little bit about maybe just the decision making process around analysing the film? Calculated. Calculated is probably the, the, the right way. I suppose when you weigh everything up, the injuries, the personnel that you've got, and not just that, then when people come back into camp, and it almost, it almost goes back down to, to, to zero for us, and we judge them from there, how they apply themselves, where the head's at, um, the confidence that they're, they're bringing out, not just in themselves, but how that um, portrays to, 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 to the teammates, etc. And each individual in that regard is, is completely different, and that's what makes the world go around, isn't it? So um, when you're talking about somebody uh, like you go, you know, I don't know, we, we could talk all day about him really, but he's the fittest in the team, we'll start there, he's probably the most diligent in the team as well as far as his work and the confidence that that gives, not just getting across his own work, but um, everyone else's work and the confidence that he brings to, to the group in that regard, you know, some people can hit the ground running and be very good. Uh, some people take three or four weeks to, to, to be able to do that, and we believe that Hugo's in a, in a good space to be able to perform on Saturday. Last question then from me, Conor Murray, eighth person to hit 100, and it's a pretty special milestone for him, isn't it? Well, yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of these, uh, these people. Like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty special because um, we all know that through a career to be able to get to that type of milestone of what it really does take and I suppose when you're a coach or when you're a player you, you, you see all the ups and downs and you see all the pressures that come in from all sorts of different directions and you see everyone wants to move on to what they perceive to be the next best thing I, I just think somebody who stands up to be counted time and time again uh, to get to a point like that um, I'm, I'm in awe of it because, because the hardest thing is to stay at the top. You know, of course there's, there's ups and downs, but what, the, the, biggest, the biggest compliment that I could play, Connor, I mean, he's a legend of, of Irish rugby. Everyone knows that anyway. And the abilities that he's shown through the years are second to none. But the biggest compliment that I could give him is that uh, he is a top, top class bloke. You know, I, I, I don't know anyone who's got a bad word to say about him, you know, and we're all we're all obsessed with rugby, um, but I suppose when it comes down to how he's managed himself throughout his career, um, you know, some, there's, there's some bigger things on the way as well, isn't there? And uh, amongst his peers, which which really matters to Connor, he is he is classed as a fantastic human being. On the other end of the scale, in terms of cap for all how impressed have you been with him, and what does he offer that's different? He offers something that's a bit different. That's that's about that's about it, and I suppose we 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 all can see that. Um, like like I was saying before about Hugo, um, he takes all sorts. Everyone everyone um, manages uh, their careers at different stages. You know, Rob's been in in camp for four or five occasions. Some of them has been stopped out through through injury, etc. Um, and then he's gone back and, and and learned his trade. And then obviously, we'd have loved for him to come. To, to New Zealand, uh, a trip like that would have been priceless for him and one of the reasons why we put him on the Emerging Island Tour is to give him a little bit more experience with how we, we want to play the game and 
you know, when you um, when you have an opportunity uh, like this to um, to to see how Rob handles the, the the big occasion, to be able to do that in in a good side is is, is pretty important as well. So uh, we feel he's ready. We feel that he can offer something different. I mean, you say about different ends of the scale, but this is how Connor's career started. You know, uh, this is so. It's up to Rob and his teammates to help help him as well to, to grab the opportunity and, and show what he's about at the top top level. A number of years ago in South Africa was on the very it was definitely unknown for the players. The fact that the United Rugby Championship something running now, does that change the dynamic a bit? Uh, I suppose there's 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 more know how of, of, of what's coming. Um, but I suppose of of what we've come up against in the URC so far, none of these players have been playing anywhere, so we all know that international level is is a big step up, um, and playing playing against the world champions uh, here is is going to be a massive step up for for everyone concerned. But uh, it's something that everyone wants to gauge themselves on, and we want to gauge ourselves on how we perform against a side that we've not played for for a good few years. And you just on Rob Vatican, so does that show, I suppose, the success of the Emerging Ireland tour and? Maybe if that didn't happen, was Rob going to be in the first team for Saturday? Uh, no, you, you, you're just trying to give people the best chance. You know, you're trying to give them an opportunity where, where, where they can fully understand, so that they're able to be at the best. You know, um, and that's not to say everything's going to go go fine on Saturday. You know, because international rugby, it takes it takes every single moment that you have to deal with in, in front of your face. Uh, time and time again, so that's that's not to say that um, things are going to be perfect for him. But um, helping him along his journey to get to this point is 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 a must. Is a must, and um, as far as we're concerned as coaches. And how has it been for you that you have an A team and a first team and trying to balance all that? And um, obviously playing Friday and Saturday, and I'm sure your mind is in overdrive a little bit. Yeah, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. Um, I love it. I, I love the fact. I mean, I, I love coaching. I love rugby. I love the players. I love the environment. Um, so, so there's nothing better than having 50 lads that are, are not just galvanising together and, and wanting each other to do so well, but, but but competing, like I've said all week. You know, competing to show each other. So, so the responsibility on Friday night is 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 for those young lads not just to perform, but to to show the rest of the group that what they've learned and. Uh, what they've picked up during the week, and you know uh, that they're able to apply it under pressure. And I've no doubt, lads, lads uh, going to the ground or whether they stay at the hotel, it's up, it's up, it's up to them. Uh, what they do the, the, the night before the game, I'm sure that's going to inspire them as well. It certainly would me. You know, sat there before a game watching your teammates who you've trained with all week. Cause, um, that would certainly inspire me to to want to put the boots on on Saturday morning. Like everyone else, like I've just said about Rob, um, take his chance. He's he's um, he's, a, he's a tough old character, uh, Connor. You know, he's he's he's, he's steely strong mentally, and uh, he cares a lot about his own game. Um, and uh, he gets a chance now. He gets a chance now to to show us how how he wants to push forward. If you could just sort of summarise the, that battle between Johnson and well, it's a battle. It's, it's, it's a respectful, um, competitive uh, battle that Connor has been an unbelievable uh, um, uh, ear for for um, for Jameson throughout because of his experience, you know. And you would you would definitely think that Connor would be thinking. Um, I'll just leave him alone and let him find out for himself. But Connor's been all over helping Jemison be the player that Jemison has been from the start. You know that's why I said to you, he's, he's a fantastic human being. So, um, and Jemison over the last ten days has been exactly that the same back, and that's exactly what we want in our environment. You've been able to pick the same starting pack several games in a row now. How important is that continuity given the the obvious strengths South Africa have in that area on Saturday? Well, we just think it's the, it's, it's the right pack for, 
for, for this game, you know, to, to be able to play our game, you know, that's, that's, that's what we want as well. And, you know, I think the respect that uh, South Africa have shown us in their continuity of, of, of the uh, forward pack as well is, uh, says a lot. So it should be a, an interesting battle. Andy, what's your take on Cheslin Colby's inclusion at, at 15 for the box? It's great. I'm a uh, big, a big fan of getting the best players out there on the field and and uh, trying a few things along the way. When there's stability in in, in in certain other areas where you can really try and um, give somebody uh, like Colby the um, chance to, to be himself, you know. So he offers obviously a different threat. Our kick chase has got to be uh, pretty special, you know, and uh, um, him chiming into the line. Not just not just on the flanks, but in the middle of the field, or or, or just on the edges, the three quarter edges, is is he's going to test us because we know that he's a world class player. Andy, you had Stuart Busk on the bench for Saturday. What have you seen of him? Do you think he'd be able to make an impact if you choose to bring him on? Um, uh, he's a game player, Stuart, and he's he's one that um, over the last few years. Um, it's been tough. It's been tough for, for him, and uh, it's certainly been tough enough for me as well because I think Stu's a great player. I think he's a great talent, and that position, as we know, has has been strongly contested with the uh, three British uh, British Lions. There, like you know, the 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 uh, the great together, and, and to, to to be able to see Stu thriving in the environment and send him home on it every Wednesday. Has been tough for him to take, you know, and but his his uh, his performances have never wavered. In fact, his hunger has got stronger, and uh, the start of the season has been has been very bright for him. So I'm looking forward to him. Um, I'm, I'm pleased for him to get the opportunity to show what he's about on Saturday. Um, you just want him to be himself, you know. He uh, he um, he plays he plays really strong, and uh, he's he's got a chance now to show his teammates. Um, that he he's the real deal as far as the the, the big times concerned and, and push on and and perform perform really well and and give us a, a massive headache come the Six Nations. Two last one. Yes, yeah, he's a big physical guy and you expect that there would be like a really nutritional physical game. So how important will the bench be in general to be able to bring on fresh legs and pull out the game? Well, it's always important. I suppose the, the feel of the game is is, is something that's that's um, that we've got to keep a close eye on as, as coaches are concerned. Because you know, if it's one of a stop start nature, then then it's completely different. But if the flow is is fast and you know we we need an injection, then somebody like Stu will be be ideal for us.